point though is you need creativity and and Pat Shermer we we've seen what we have in him now and Drew Locke has a full 16 games he has a full starting season under his belt now and in week 15 of his second season we're lauding him because he finally stepped up in the pocket a Matt LaFleur or a Joe Brady or Andy Reid would have coached this out of him weeks ago so it's just my point. I, I want to see what Locke can do with the Kellen Moore. I want to see what Locke can do with the Kyle Shanahan before I say, no, for sure, he's a bust. Move on. Joshua Johnson says, if I am Fangio, I'm giving Mike Shula a chance to take over play calling the last two games. Or that. It would be interesting to see, Zach, because I'll tell you this. Shula uh, was the brainchild behind the most prolific offense of the 2015 season. And that was an offense with, with Cam Newton and the Panthers that did a lot of new school type of, you know, a lot of college type of uh, read options uh, or, or excuse me, yeah, read options, uh, run pass options, a lot of different quarterback gadgetry. And of course you had a very mobile and a very um, big, strong quarterback. that could do a lot of that stuff in, in Cam Newton at the time, but I would definitely be, I would be all about that. And you wouldn't even have to telegraph it, Zach. You could just say, Hey, you know, we're going we're gonna to give Shula a chance to call some plays or the plays for these final two just to see. No one would even have to know in terms of the, the outward-facing uh, talking points from, Bro- uh, from Broncos HQ. You know, I don't know, man. After what we've seen from Shermer, why not give it a, a try? I don't think most NFL teams kind of look at things that way, but I, I think they'd be remiss to not give it a shot. There's nothing to lose. I mean, and everything to gain. You could find a play caller that's way more in tune, you know, maybe more imaginative or or maybe more just, you know, um, uh, comfortable with Locke's play style. The thing with, with Shula, though, what happens if he does really well last couple of games? Do they fire Pat Shermer? Do they promote Shula to full-time OC? It creates a lot of questions as well. And conversely, I can also see, go back to our previous question about um, coaching changes, if they keep Shermer, I can see the Broncos firing Mike Shula or vice versa. I can see them making one scapegoat between the two if Locke is the guy for next season, if he's on the roster, which he will, if he's going to start. There's a lot of dominoes that have to fall, Chad. 